St. George's is the setting for a recital of guitar music to be played by Carlos Bonell. It's another in the Radio 3 series of lunchtime concerts arranged by St. George's Music Trust in association with Imperial Tobacco. Carlos Bonell will be playing the music he's chosen in four groups. First, two pieces by Fernando Sor, a study and a prelude by Villa Lobos, the sonata Homage to Boccherini by Castel Nuovo Tedesco, and lastly, three Spanish pieces by Granados, Rodrigo, and Malatz. The Spanish composer and guitarist Fernando Sor was born in Barcelona in 1778 and died in Paris in 1839. He's remembered chiefly for his guitar music, but he wrote many other works besides. He spent some years in England, where he became a fashionable teacher. We're going to hear first one of six short pieces published in Paris, either in or before 1814. The Andante Largo, Opus 5, Number 5. And that will be followed by his introduction and air on the tune Marlborough, Opus 28. The introduction is very short, and then comes the tune, which you'll probably find rather familiar. It's actually a French folk song called Marlborough sans va en guerre with words that tell of the first Duke of Marlborough going to fight the French at Flanders and being killed, wishful thinking, obviously. The tune is followed by five variations and then a repeat of the tune to the end. Now to begin his recital with these two pieces by Fernando Sor, here is Carlos Bonell. <laughs>
Here in St. George's in Bristol, Carlos Bonnell has just played two pieces by Fernando Saw. The Andante Largo, Opus 5, Number 5, and Introduction and Air on the tune Marlborough, Opus 28, strongly reminiscent of For He's a Jolly Good Fellow. Next, we're going to hear two pieces by Brazil's most outstanding composer, Eitor Villa-Lobos, who died in 1959. His first instrument was actually the cello, but he also became an expert guitarist, and among his compositions are 12 guitar studies written in 1929. Carlos Bonnell is going to play the study number 11, followed by the last piece Villa-Lobos wrote for guitar, the prelude number 5, which dates from 1940. Oh. 
We've just heard the last of five preludes by Villa Lobos, and before it, his study number 11. Carlos Bonnell turns now to the work of Castelnuovo Tedesco, who died in 1968. He was an Italian who emigrated to the United States in the late 30s. His ancestors, though, came from Spain, and he was attracted both to Spanish music and to the guitar, and this is reflected in his compositions. Among them is the sonata in four movements dating from 1939. It's called Homage to Boccherini. Thank you. 
That was the sonata Homage to Boccherini, over 77, by Castelnuovo Tedesco. The remaining pieces in Carlos Bonel's recital are all by different Spanish composers. The first of the three is an arrangement by Miguel Ubet of A Song by Granados, in which a lady speaks of the dead painter Goya, saying that she'll never be able to forget him. La Maja de Goya. La Marja de Goya by Granados. The other two Spanish composers represented in this group are Rodrigo and Malatz. We're going to hear a Fandango by Rodrigo, that's a traditional Spanish dance, and lastly a piece by Joaquin Malatz, a pianist and composer who died in 1912. His serenata Espanol. But first we shall hear the Fandango.
We've just heard a fandango by Rodrigo and Serenata Espanol by Malatz. They were played in St. George's, Brandon Hill, by Carlos Bonnell, and they end his lunchtime concert arranged by St. George's Music Trust in association with Imperial Tobacco. The next in the series will be a fortnight today when the pianist Joaquin Achucaro will play a program of sonatas by Schubert and Chopin. 
That's on Thursday, the 19th of November, at our usual time, five past one. For the present, though, it's goodbye from Bristol. <laughs>